So today I want to talk about why I think the Powerpuff series is undervalued right now. Let's take a look at this Ellie Magazine article here. And as you can see, there's three girls here and they're going to be doing a show about Powerpuff Girls. And it says here, this iteration of the Powerpuff Girls is slightly more contemporary than audiences, than audiences may have expected. Both Blossom and Buttercup are wearing jeans while the former sports a blazer and a ladder, a motor jacket. So if you really think about it, there's not a lot of female superheroes that attract young girls. Like we got Superwoman and Harley Quinn. That's about it. And so I do believe that this is going to be a huge untapped market if they're able to succeed in this. And I'm like, wait, a remake of Powerpuff Girls? I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm more optimistic about this because of who it's made by. So it's going to be made by the production team of iZombie, Veronica Mars, and Juno. And I do feel like those movies really fit the young teenager category really well. Very optimistic about this show. Talk about the side characters who are going to first be involved. So there's Robin Lively. If you don't know who Robin Lively is, she was the secretary here in the original Powerpuff Girls. And then we have Tom Kenny. And if you don't know who Tom Kenny is, he was the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants and the voice and narrator of the mayor of Townsville in the original animated Powerpuff Girls series. We got Donald Faison here, but I never watched Scrubs, but I know a lot of people do, so they'll be glad to see him in this show again. Let's talk about who the main characters are going to be. It's going to be Chloe Bennett. If you're a fan of Asian of Shields, I guess she's going to be Blossom or Buttercup. And then we got Dove Cameron from Descendants, which was a musical that, that was produced by Disney. And this show, what it's going to be about is disillusioned 20-somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. CW has produced a show like that in the past, which is Riverdale, which is extremely popular in the United States with their teenagers. I'm not a big fan of this. I've never seen this, but I know a lot of girls talk about this show, especially because of the fact, like I said earlier, there's not a lot of female superheroes. So if this show blows up and they have multiple seasons of this show, it's going to be huge. It taps into a marketplace that most collectibles can't reach, which is girls and teenagers. So I do believe that over time, depending on the success of this show, that these collectibles and the Powerpuff Girls definitely appreciate. Um, for example, like Buttercup here, it's going super cheap in the market right now and it has relatively low cereals, 4,000. So I would, I'm really interested on how they're going to be able to revamp this series and make this more modern. And I do believe that if they're able to succeed, this is going to be this is going to be absolutely huge, guys. I can definitely see like movies and things like that, depending on the level of success. So if you learned something from this video about Powerpuff Girls, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps me with the algorithm and get my message across to more Vivi and Ecomi lovers.